adventurers, I'm so excited today because we're making Kheema patties. These patties are puff pastry parcels that are stuffed with a meat mixture, either mutton, lamb or beef. You can find these in bakeries all over Goa and Mumbai and they're eaten typically as a tea time snack but you can also serve it with your drinks. Before I go any further with this recipe, do make sure to subscribe to my channel and make sure to ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now let's get started. I'm going to start with the filling. Saute one and a half cups of onion. I finely diced this onion. And I'm going to add two tablespoons of sliced green chili. Allow this to saute till the onion turns nice and golden brown. I'm going to add two teaspoons of ground ginger and garlic paste. I'm just going to cook this off a bit so we don't have that raw ginger and garlic flavor. Next, I'm going to add one teaspoon of garam masala, one teaspoon of cumin powder, and I'm also going to add one teaspoon of red Kashmiri chili powder. Mix this in and it's looking a little bit dry, so I'm going to add a little bit more oil. Next, I'm going to add two pounds of ground beef, lamb or mutton. I'm just going to spread my meat out and I'm going to allow it to absorb all of the spices. Add salt to taste. And I'm going to try and break up all the lumps. Cover this and allow it to cook. This is going to need to cook for 15 to 20 minutes. So just keep stirring in between to break up all of the lumps. going to add one teaspoon of fresh black pepper and I'm also going to add one cup of finely diced tomato mix this in and now I'm just going to cover it so the tomato can get nice and mushy Once this has cooked down, I'm going to add half a cup of cooked peas. I'm also going to add half a cup of diced coriander or cilantro. Mix this in well and allow the filling to cool. You can also make this filling ahead and just use a cold filling. I have some chilled puff pastry squares here. These are about 10 by 10 centimeters, but you can also make these a bit bigger or smaller. Brush two sides of the square with egg wash. Add about a tablespoon of the filling to each one. And then I'm going to fold these over into a triangle shape, pressing down on the edges to seal. fork I'm just going to seal the edges you can either do this step as you're making the patties or you can do it at the end all at the same time it makes no difference and now I'm just going to finish making the rest While prepping the patties, I like to store the ones I've finished in the fridge so they don't go all limp on me as the butter in the pastry dough gets warm. Once they are all done and ready to go, brush the top of the patty with egg wash. And I like to sprinkle it with some sesame seeds. 
Now you will notice that I'm using white sesame seeds. This is totally optional. When I made my shrimp patties in an earlier video, I added black sesame seeds. And this is a great way to distinguish one from the other when I'm serving these at a party. At this point, you can either bake them in your preheated oven at 350 degrees so they're nice and golden brown, or you can freeze them for baking later. Enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings Food Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe for beef patties. These patties are melt in your mouth delicious. Make sure you subscribe to my channel guys and don't forget to share my channel as well as my videos with your family and friends. Also, I love to hear from you so leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of this video and what other recipes you would like to see. Also, make sure you're following me behind the scenes on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. Until I see you next time. Do take care. Happy eating. Bye.